Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I just got back from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got. Um, I did a couple of these already, but I just for some reason decided not to put them up just because I looked horrible or the sound for some reason was weird. I don't know. Hopefully the sound is okay in this video so I don't have to redo it. Um, but since I was all oh, kind of somewhat dressed up, then I wanted to do this video, so, and it is quite a bit, so I'm just going to get started. Um, and some of this stuff is kind of like DIY stuff that I want to do for videos, so some of this stuff will be for those videos. Um, so the first thing that I got was just these white label makers. Um, you can either, uh, print it out on your printer or I just use it to write stuff down and then just place it wherever. I don't really you know make it cute i mean you could if you wanted to and i think it um you can go download the template somewhere and then add your own pictures and your own text and all of that um i don't know i may do that just to make it look a little bit cuter but most usually i just use it you know write what i want and peel it off and stick it wherever so i just got some of those <laughs> and then i got quite a few polishes so the first um so the first one that I got was this base coat top coat from LA Colors and it's just a clear top coat. The next one I got was this Super Strength uh, Nail Builder and my nails are like very thin and they break very easily and they're just horrible so hopefully maybe this will help strengthen, strengthen them a little bit. Uh, the next one I got was this uh, pink polish. It has like different kinds of glitter in it and it's called Candy Sparkle and it's from LA Colors. The Color Craze type polish. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not but it just it's like pink with blue, green, purple, silver, and red different like glitters. Uh, the next one I got which is just a black nail polish so I can use this for my stamping nail art stuff. And then I also got the uh, LA Color Art Deco in black, just so I can use that as well. Um, and then the next two I got were these LA Color Rapid Dry Top Coats. Um, I really do like rapid dry type stuff for your nails because they make them like harden a lot faster and you can um do stuff especially if you're in a hurry and you just paint your nails you can put this on and it would normally um dry it within five to ten minutes but you still need to be kind of careful um because it won't dry it all the way nail polish normally takes for me to fully dry about 12 hours so um just still kind of be careful with that um and then the last color that i got was uh reckless reckless whatever and it's this kind of like purplish blue type color it would be a really pretty color for spring so i just got that um the next bag i got some of these uh paper tape stickers and there's 16 different stickers um sticker type things in here this one has owls polka dots hearts and flowers and stripes and it also has some glitter in with it and there like i said there's 16 um i guess strips in here and then i got another one this one is like flowers and birds and kind of like a bohemian type look i hope you guys can see these and then i got this one this one has also smaller looks like smaller pieces in it i'm not for sure if it's one whole thing or if it's just like smaller pieces but whatever this one is like flowers and candies and sweets and little dots and all of that cute stuff so i got those for just like little diys that i want to do and i want to make it look cute i can probably write something on there and stick it onto the jar or a bag or whatever i'm using so i got those the next two things I got were just some um, tongs because we needed some for the kitchen. So, yeah, I just got two of these. And then I got this measuring cup for my kind of like DIY stuff so I don't have to use my kitchen stuff for that. Um, so I will be using this one just for like my DIYs and body type stuff, whatever I need a me <clears throat> measuring cup for. Um, sorry I am still a little sick that is another reason why I haven't really been filming videos I have been very sick 
um, a really bad cold and anxiety it's just horrible um so anyways and then I just got some more of these uh, were these clear push pins because I have been using these a lot for like hanging pictures hanging um, curtains if I don't want to use nails in the wall then I would just use these push pins and they actually work very well so I highly recommend this especially if you're in a place that you're renting and you don't want to put a lot of holes or big holes in the walls um, get some push pins and use that um, like I said I've been using it to hang pictures to hang curtains um, I don't know just whatever you want could use a push pin for so um, so there's those uh, the next bag actually has this glass jar. I'm actually going, I have, I think, five of these. I'm going to be doing different DIYs. And most of them are going to be, like, actually, I think all of them are going to be for the bath. Um, some of them are going to be DIY dupes for the Lush uh, bath stuff. Um, I think I'm also going to make a, like, make your own bath salt uh, type thing. So we will see what I come up with and I will I'll definitely do videos um, showing you guys how to do it and all the items that I use for it. And I think most of the stuff I got from either the Dollar Tree or like Walmart at your local Walmart. So yeah, so there's one of those and I do have five of these and of course it's from the Dollar Tree. So, um, and also these are glass. I don't know if I said that these are glass jars and they are pretty tightly sealed so those would work pretty good if you don't want to get glass they also have like plastic containers that you can use but i just thought this would be more cuter and decorative to like display in your bathroom or whatever okay so the next thing that i got was just these ice cube trays and it comes two in a pack and these are for another diy that i want to do um for my bath type stuff and if any of you guys can guess what i'm planning on doing with these leave it in the down bar um and see if you can guess what i'm planning on using this for if that makes any sense so leave a comment down below and let me know what you think i'm going to use those for um the next uh two things that i got were these um were these uh, like adhesive type liners and I got this because my desk actually some of the paint is starting to chip up and from where we were moving they chipped it a little bit um, so I figured I would get these and try to line my table with this just to make it look better um, so we'll see how that goes and if not I'm sure I could always use it for something else I could even use it for labels um, cut like little strips out and make labels with this um, they have so many different um, like colors and styles and all that from the Dollar Tree so if you do want to use it to make labels you can also do that um, but I'm just going to try to use it on my table um, just to make it look better uh, the next two things that I got were, is also hopefully going to be part of my DIY we will see is just some bath salts and these are actually pretty decent size it's one pound um, this is one pound and then the lavender one is 16 ounces. I don't know if that's a pound or what, but this one's 16, this one is a pound. Um, so I'm going to try to use these for a DIY. So there's those. And then I got two, of, I was really surprised actually that the Dollar Tree had this, and it was uh, the tape dispensers. Um, one of these I'm going to use on my makeup vanity. Most of you guys probably know what I'm gonna use this for. Um, if you've seen in some of my makeup videos, I use the tape right here and this would just help me easy, easily pull it off and I don't have to, you know, do all the holding the tape, pull it off, all of that mess. So, and I probably will get some pink spray paint or something and spray paint this just to make it cuter or whatever or maybe some silver. I might do silver, but so I got two of these, one for my actual desk and then one for my vanity. And then the next thing I got was this uh, muffin tin cupcake tin type thing. And this is also going to be for my DIYs uh, just so I don't have to use my kitchen stuff. Um, so this is for DIY. And then I also got these measuring cups for my DIY type stuff just so I don't have to use my kitchen stuff and mess those up and all of that. Uh, and then finally the last bag. I know 
know this is quite a bit of stuff, but I'm sorry, I was very excited to do all this. Um, the next thing I got was just this seven day pill organizer. And what I plan on doing is trying to scrub off the um, days on this and use this for like different like lip glosses and stuff like that. Or I mean, I don't know, you could probably use this for a lot of different things. Um, you could probably also use these because there's in one little tray there's like four different slots. Um, you could probably put pigments in here if you wanted to put pigments. Um, just whatever you think you could use this for but i think i'm going to use this for different like lip glosses or maybe depot some lipsticks because i do have quite a bit now and just put my lipsticks in here and all that so there's that and then i found this uh plumping balm hopefully this works um i have been trying to get my lips to look a little bit plumper fuller and thicker so hopefully this works um i will hopefully remember to let you guys know if this works um it says helps gives your lips fuller and softer look enhances your natural lip color for your own individual look so yeah hopefully this will work uh the next thing i got these are just some uh like self-adhesive ring um type things you can put on paper just to uh I guess make it thicker so it doesn't rip as easy whatever those are called um, but I'm going to actually use these for my nails to do like French tips or anything like that so that's what I'm going to use these for um, and then I got two sets of these of these like coffee scoops um, I'm going to use these for also for my DIYs um, so yeah kind of look out for that <laughs> and then and then the next thing that I got was this cell phone case for my iPhone 5S. And if you don't know, I did have an iPhone 5S. I traded some, some stuff that I didn't need anymore, just didn't want to my cousin. And she traded me her iPhone 5S. And I was using that for my cell phone, but we actually switched to Straight Talk. Um, we canceled our Verizon contract all, and all of that, so we went to Straight Talk. And then I got a really huge phone from Straight Talk. I actually don't have it with me at the moment. But anyways, um, I think it's called the Alkaline Pop Mega or something like that. Um, so I am using that phone and the iPhone 5S I'm going to use as kind of like an iPod. For like when I'm in my truck or whatever, I can listen to music and not have to worry about downloading a whole bunch of stuff onto my phone and making it slower or whatever. So I'm just going to use the iPhone for that. And I just got this really cute glittery pink type case for it. And then the next thing that I got was this screen protector. And this was the only pink one left. And I guess somebody was trying to see what it looked like and they ripped the packaging. But... The only thing that I was worried that I cared for was just the front piece of it. And I don't think it comes with the back piece, which that's fine because I don't have the case on it. And this is in neon pink and it's for the iPhone 5, 5S, and 5C. And then it also comes with this little bitty cloth that you can put over it. And all this is is just a kind of like screen protector. And it also changes the color of your phone. So having these two together... I think that'll work out pretty good and then I also got these uh, button stickers and it says it fits on on home button um, so yeah and it's just these like diamond type things stickers that you can put on your home button so I'm of course going to use either the pink one or the silver one I'm not sure just yet um, but I don't think um, this would work if you have the finger sensitive scanner thing whatever it's called on your phone so if you have that I wouldn't recommend getting these but I don't think I'm going to use it that much since uh, I'm, it's not really I'm not using it as a phone anymore I'm just going to have it to where it's completely unlocked and I don't have to worry about it so I'll probably put one of these on there um, the next couple things I got were just some soaps that I really wanted to try also for a DIY and this one is the oatmeal and almond hopefully you can see this i don't know but anyways 
And then the next one I got was just the Shea Butter Milk. And this is for sensitive skin. And all of these actually smell very good. Um, and then I just got this Eng English Lavender. Which I'm wanting to use this for part of my DIY to help you calm down and relax through, you know, at night time and all of that. So there's those. And then I also got this uh, After Sun Aloe Vera uh, Soothing Gel. I wanted to get this for just whatever DIYs I want to do that needs uh, aloe vera gel. And also I want to use this for when I wax my brows. I can apply this after I wax and it will help calm and soothe the area because I do get really red and puffy when I wax my brows. And then also I've noticed the last time I did them, I also got pimples. And a lot of people say it's not pimples, that it's actually ingrown hairs. So what you have to do to kind of help that is exfoliate the area for a couple days. Um, so yeah, but I just got this to kind of help relieve the stinging, the burning, itching, whatever you get um, when you wax your brows or your legs, armpits, what have you. So yeah, I just got this. And then I also got two of these different kinds of uh, like cocoa butter type lotions. And this one is a cocoa butter skin cream and organic. I think this one is from Organics. Um, so yeah, it just looks like this comes in a tub. And this is also going to be part of my um, DIY stuff. And then I also wanted to get this creamy cocoa butter petroleum jelly. Um, this stuff I will either use for my hands or for my lips um, or anything like that. So that's the reason why I got that. And the last thing that I got was just some tape for my tape dispensers. Um, I'm actually really excited they had these and it came in a pack of six. So you can't beat that for a dollar. Six of them for a dollar. You really can't beat that. So that is everything that I got from this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys like these videos. And um, if you do like Dollar Tree hauls, then please thumb this, thumbs this video up so I know that you guys like these. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!